to the start of selection now uh, let's come to the start of selection event uh, this start of selection event as suggested by the name is uh, for selection so if you want to put a selection on on the database tables you would do your code after the start of selection event so start of selection is generally one event which you would find always in any program of a map it is mandatory to write start of selection if you want to do anything like select queries and also you should actually write start of selection and end of selection so anything between them is used for selecting the data from the database tables and then processing on that can can be done after end of selection uh, so uh, what i'm doing right now is i'll just uh, do a write statement for 100 times so i'm just doing do 100 times the write statement so this will give me an output on on uh, not on the selection screen but on the output screen for uh, 100 times the start of selection this writes so if i want to do anything uh, i want to select anything and do a print on the screen on the basis of that doing manipulation on the selected data i can do it in start of selection uh, so uh, and end of selection also so put fetch the data from start of selection and uh, do the manipulation or the business logic after end of selection now let's just see a couple of more events there's something called top of page and there's something called end of page so top of page is like once you have your output once you have your right statement you have written uh, start of selection or you have your output in front of you uh, you want something like this uh, as you can see uh, here i have written top uh, so this top can be changed you might want to have a heading sort of thing for your output or uh, whatever you want so any uh, anything that you want to be there on the top of the page uh, should come in top of the page event so and this event is an implicit event which is called every time when you uh, have your output page okay so but this isn't clear the doubt so for for that matter let's just uh, let's just uh, you know write uh, the uh just a second i would write uh, something called uh, line count this line count defines that on a page i want only 25 lines okay so after 25 lines there's a start of a new page this will uh, clear your doubt of the page settings so let's see how it comes up once i have just 25 so uh, wait so now you can see that after 25 statements of start of selection i have another page starting so you can see on your right of the screen you have page one two three these countings can come and then on every top uh, you have top so you can see it a top over here a top on top so on every top of the page you would have so if you want any heading that come uh, that should come after every top of the page you can uh, actually uh, do it in top of the page so if you have a top of the page you also should have an end of the page that means on every end of the page you would want to write something now the end of the page has a tricky part the end of the page is not called uh, till the time you specify the holder for end of the page it is not just that you have mentioned end of the page and it would be called so if i just write end of the page and write end i would not see end written on the page till now so on top I have the top but at the end I don't have end written that means event is called but the placeholder is not there so the placeholder we define at the top whenever you have written report so you would say line count 25 and then let's say 2 this defines that I have a second page holder there has to be uh, two page holders for both the events one for top of the page and one for end of the page so you have top of the page and now so on every page you would have these two events okay so having said that uh, there's only one event uh, which I think we have not discussed and that is uh, the start of the oh, sorry at selection screen uh, let's just discuss a little bit about this also I missed the sequence but that's okay at selection screen event is one event uh, which is called after the selection screen so we discussed 
uh, selection screen output is one event which is called right before your screen is popped up in front of you. Uh, that means if you want uh, any property to be changed of any field, you would uh, do the code of loop at screen and changing the property of the screen in sele at selection screen output event. So similarly, if you want to put some search helps, uh, you know, manually, if you want to put any anything that you want to come programmatically uh, by default on the page. So you would do a um, selection screen output. But what if you want to put a check on a field? You want to put a condition that you have a selection screen now, but you want to put some validation on a field that this field is a mandatory field so it needs to have something or if not filled if let's say you want to restrict some field for two values a or b uh, you would want to put a you know a check for it that if the person has filled your so those sort of checks that you want to put right after your selection screen uh, i mean you want that selection screen should not go out and it should be there and these checks needs to be performed so you would do on add selection screen event. So I'm just putting a check if P first is not initial, please enter something. Type error message. Now since I've written not equals to initial, this means that uh, if it is uh, initial, the system should allow it to go. If it is not, the system should throw an error message. So let's just run it. I am activating it. Oops, it gives me an error. Uh, oh, I have not written the end if. So let's just go and write quickly and end if. Yeah, end if is missing. So end if. And now if I activate it, let's just see. I am removing everything so it is initial so it should go right our condition was if it is not initial then throw an error message so now let's enter something and then see there we go so you see the error message that means if you want to put any such validations you would put in here and you see that uh, there is these brackets also this this gives you you know the cursor would be at the place where the error message has come because you have done done it for that field only so i think uh, 